Hello again everyone, I welcome you to another of my settlement, maybe housing builds. Uh, this time there's a bit of an issue I have because my save file just got damaged and I'm unable to save on this game without any crashes, so that's a bit of a problem. Especially since the last save that works is the one before I did this build uh, that I'm going to show you. At least I'm able to, you know, film it and show you what I've done, but I can't play with this any anymore in my main game, so it's a kind of a bummer. But anyway, let's get into the tour. At least I, I'm trying, I want to show you what I've done, because I think it's quite nice build. So, we are again at Sanctuary, as you've probably noticed. And I've done an another building for uh, one of our main uh, characters, and that's Mama Murphy. And it's situate, situated on the end of the sanctuary, at that circular road. And I've tried to make something that fits her character, since she's a bit of a you know, gypsy fortune teller. And uh, so I tried to make something that's a bit of mysterious, and that's... Uh, not really uh, luxurious, but more like a thrown together from whatever can be found around. And also, um, uh, I try to make something that's uh, f uh, for a person who's unable to move because she's in the wheelchair in my in, in my gameplay. Yes, in a wheelchair because I'm using the mod that uh, changes her. Uh, armchair that she wants you to build at some point to a wheelchair that resembles more the concept art of her before she was put in the game and it's something I think is really in interesting and I try to make this build around this idea so without any more uh, talking let's go into the main build As you can see that I've put some sign so it will welcomes people to try to make know their future I've put some lights on the tree and everything uh, I wanted to make everything look uh, unique not any repeating uh, patterns also you can already notice Mom Murphy on the upstairs but we will see her uh, more closely in a minute so here is the main entrance that's from the other side and before that, there's a small garden she has. It's a place where she can grow her plants for all those uh, uh, camps that she's using. I think that's really appropriate for her character. She also has a scarecrow here. So just a small statue of someone with a uh, hazmat suit and a plastic pumpkin. Sorry for the really bad textures because when I I can't use saves in this game, as I said before, without any crashes, and that means that uh, I had to travel here from a different part of a map, and my textures won't load, unfortunately. So some textures are real bad, and I apologize for that. But let's go inside and see more. So here's the door inside. She has a kitchen here, uh, again something that's not really a luxurious in any kind of a sense, but that fits her I think. She has uh, food and camps together. So here is the place where she could be when she's downstairs and ex accepting visits maybe. And also here is a kitchen table with a lovely death cloth ahead above it. Because in one of her short stories, she mentioned that she once fought a dead claw. I'm not sure if it was with bare hands, or probably not, but with uh, just a pistol or something. I can't remember. But I thought that it would be interesting to see it here. I really tried to uh, work with lighting here to make that mysterious uh, appearance here, and with lots of smaller details. But I tried to not overdone it because I thought that I would be doing more 
built in a sanctuary and I was trying to keep my frame rate accept in acceptable numbers. Unfortunately that's not the issue anymore, but I think that's still enough of detail here. So it's a circular building as you could see from the outside and that's something that really shows in this. I try to make everything accessible for someone who is in a wheelchair. And that's the another thing why she doesn't have any stairs here. Instead, there is an elevator here, which I think is interesting feature of this build. So let's go upstairs to see more. She has a bedroom here, also a small bathroom. There are other flowers around here. So her bed. Uh, that uh, bucket is not for maybe what you're thinking, but if she can get ill from her uh, camps, maybe. <laughs> Uh, some more details. And here is the bathroom. So again, something a bit crude. Also, a bucket for uh, washing up. Small. I don't think she would have a fully functional bathroom here. And here's some more details. So Minuteman flag because she's one of the founding members of this Minuteman <laughs> and, uh, settlement here. And when we get up outside, as you could maybe see that we are working on this roof now. And here she is. I really love this mod. It's amazing how it looks when she has this wheelchair with all those details around. I put uh, some more lighting here and a uh, bench here so you can sit down and have a talk with Mama Murphy when you visit her. I think it's really nice. And that's all for this build. Maybe a bit quicker than I doing I've done before, but I think that's enough. I'm again I'm really sorry that I can't do this uh, in uh, my main build because of this safe shoe. I think I will redo, redo the sanctuary maybe from the ground up again. But that's life in the Commonwealth, as one DJ would say. So thanks for uh, being here with me, and let's see one last uh, look around the house. So look around, see the whole thing from the outside. I think it, it's a really unique layout. I've never seen anything like this before, and I really like how this looks. So I'm kind of sad that I can't have this in my sanctuary anymore. But what can you do? Anyway, thanks for your time watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.